The chmod utility that is used to change a file and folder permission, access permission in Linux and Unix system has two different syntaxes. One that allows you to specify the permission in a symbolic manner uh, using uh, things like letters that represent the user permission, the owner uh, permission, uh, sorry, the user and owner are the same using the letter U, uh, the group permission using the letter G, and then the other users on the system permission using the letter O. And then for each of those set of permission, you use RWX uh, to indicate whether there is a read permission, whether there is a write permission, or an execute permission. So you can see an example here of the kind of permission that could be assigned to a file. So what I want to introduce in this video is uh, the second notation that is commonly used with chmod. Uh, the second notation is based on uh, integer values, so one integer value actually to set all the permission. So there's no way to add or remove like a permission here. It's you set the, the whole permission for uh, for the file. So the, you've set pretty much a nine uh, letters here that I use in the permission string in one shot using one number. That number has three digit and does a three digit, each of them is expressed in base eight. So octal number. So the rules for uh, for setting permission are you are going to specify three digits okay so let's let me use an example four two and one and uh, so that's going to give you oops that's going to give you pretty much a number 421 that you use then with ch mode as mod parameter. So if I do ch mode 421 and I apply it to my file, well, it's going to set the permission, reset the permission to my file so that they match the meaning of that number, 421. So now where does the meaning come from, okay? So you have to, first we're going to, to learn it, you know, kind of by heart as a recipe, and then we are going to explore the meaning behind those the specific value. So if you specify a four, like for example, the four here that is specified as first digit. So the first digit, as you guessed, is going to apply to the owner user uh, part of the permission. The second digit to the group part of the permission and the last digit to the others part of the permission. So thankfully, it's easy to read 421 as four two and one, and keep in mind, you know, that, that segmentation that uh, that is the same with the symbolic notation. So owner slash user first, then group, then others. So the four mean read permission. So if I was trying to, to write here the equivalent in symbolic notation, right, that would be just read permission, R. The two means write permission. So if I add a two here, like in this example, okay, I have no read permission, I have a write permission, and I have no execute permission, all right? And then the one stands, as you may guess, for execute, okay? So a one means that I would have here no R, no W, and just an execute flag for permission. And of course, if I was putting zero, that would be no permissions, okay? So we have like a, a little chart here that we can even like, you know, write down like this. There we go. So as a, as a way to remember what the permission mean. And once you have that, you can, you can pretty much set any permission. If you wanted to set the read and write permission, for example, uh, that would not be complicated. You would simply, let me open a, another text box here. You would simply say that uh, if you want, let me make that bigger, there we go. If you want something like RW um, dash, okay, in, in this encoding scheme, you would say, okay, I want an R, so that's four, and then I want a W, so that's two, and then for the last one, I, I want nothing. Okay, so you have a four plus two, that's equal to six. Okay, so the bit, the octal, sorry, digit that correspond to that RW uh, dash would be six. So if your permission is you want RW dash here for the owner, then you would replace that four by a six. 
and you would say chmod 6 to 1 my file and that would result in that permission okay if you wanted the rw permission also for the group then you would have here same thing so the permission is r which is 4 plus w which is 2 so the digit here the octal digit that correspond to that would be 6 and if you want here for others you know let's take a third example simply rx okay so the r is 4 the x is 1 so you would need a 5 here so to set this symbolic um, permission all right you would use one octal number which would be in this example 665 all right so that's the first way to to understand this this notation okay the first way to understand this notation is i have like four magical value four two one and zero and then i memorize by heart you know what they correspond to and i know that i can add them up to to build up each of the three digits that I'm going to use uh, to represent the mode of the octal mode of my file. Okay, so permission expressed as a three digit octal number. So that's the first level. The second level of understanding is if you are a little bit curious, you're going to wonder why are we using those, those numbers? Why four, two, one, and zero? And the answer to that is actually not difficult, so I'm going to, to introduce it. And I know that some of you would prefer to memorize this, uh, but I know also that some of you would prefer to have actually the, the real explanation. So you should be exposed to, to both. So let's write here our RWX pattern. RWX. RWX. Okay, so we have our little uh, access permission pattern here. Now, what we are going to do is we are looking at each of those letters or column. We are going to look at them as actually um, a bit. So that can be zero or one. So let's focus on, on one at a time, okay? Because the same story is going to repeat itself for the three, for the three groups of, uh, of letters, like, like it always does. So in this case, if I want to express that I want only the read permission. I'm going to put a one under R. So R should be set. And then let's say that this is all I want. Okay? So this 100 correspond to R nothing nothing. Okay? So if I look at this as a binary digit, how many possible values can I have with three bits? Eight. Well, that's funny because we were using here numbers and we were told that the numbers were in octal base. So they can have eight, we can have eight possible digits. So that's an interesting match. What would be the, the value here of, uh, of that, um, um, that binary number? Well, we know that 001 is one, okay. Oops, 010 is two. 0, 1, 1 is 3, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm going to just write them all real fast. And then let me move this up a bit. I'm going to feng shui a little my display. There we go. Let's go back up. So 1, 0, 0 is 4, and then 1, 0, 1, and then 1, 1, 0, and then 1, 1, 1. Okay, these are all the the three bit binary numbers I can get. So this is going to be a five, this is going to be a six, and this is going to be a seven. So this is what, what the binary uh, numbers, and of course I forgot zero, zero, zero is, you guessed it, zero. All right, so this, these are the binary numbers that we can express with a three digit, and next to them I put their decimal equivalent okay or it could be also their octal equivalent after all because the values are from 0 to 7 so this is base 8 all right so what do you notice here well this means dash 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 which also means no permissions well, that's nice okay so let me erase that that little thing now we don't need that anymore okay actually I'm going to keep the, the line here but nothing else 
So I have here a way to express, okay, that I didn't set the R permission, I didn't set the W permission, I didn't set the X permission in one of the three groups. So I can express that by dash dash dash, or I can express it by zero zero zero, and the octal value of zero 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 in binary is zero. Well, see that? Yep, yeah, that's no permission. What about the, the one here? Well, the one corresponds to dash, dash, and execute, okay? Only the X uh, permission is actually set, the over permission are not set. So this one corresponds to execute. And again, the value one in octal indeed corresponds to execute in our little uh, code, in our little scheme, okay? Well, let's keep going. Uh, what uh, what other value do we have? We have the two. What is the two? Well, it's zero, one, zero. So zero mean no permission. One mean that permission is activated, and zero mean no permission. So that mean, right? Again, the value two matches here uh, the octal value, the magical value for right. Let me skip this one. You probably already and you are probably already understanding why. And the last one is I have the read access, I have no over permission, it's equal to four, and therefore it corresponds to uh, read. Sorry, I was going to write, right. So there we go, read, read access. So you see those four magical numbers, zero, one, two, and four that I used in my notation, we can explain them in terms of binary values here, binary triplets of digits. And uh, wherever the one lands, that means that we want to activate that specific, you know, permission. And therefore, we can use um, either the symbolic notation or that octal value that represents a, a three-digit binary number to say that we want to activate a specific RWX flag, or no flag at all. And then what about the other numbers? Well, let's look at three. Three is two plus one. So if I want to set this bit and that bit, okay, that would be marked as 0, 1, 1, that has octal value 3, that corresponds to nothing, and then the middle bit is set W, and then the last bit is set X, okay? So this is what happened when I, when I try to figure out, for example, how am I going to express RW dash, okay, in octal notation? Well, I say it's 4 plus 2, 6, so that's the recipe I learned first. But now that I look at what six means, it indeed means that the first permission is set, so read. The second is set also because there is a one, so one, one, RW. And then I have a zero, which means dash, which means I don't have that permission. And I can use six as a shorthand notation for this, okay? And so on and so forth. So this would be RX. And this last one would be RWX. Okay, so you are going to find that um, that in many tutorials there is this magic number that people seem to to use all the time with ch mod. They do a ch mod, let's just shell ch mod seven five five of my file. Okay, so that's how I use this octal notation. And if I do ls dash l to see the result of that, you can see that my file has seven, which means pretty much. All permission, if I go back to the slide here, you can see seven is all permission indeed. And then I have five and five, which mean read X, read execute, read execute for the group and over. It's a very common permission in, a, in a everyday Linux usage. That means that you can do everything on your own file. Okay, you as a user tux, this, you as the owner of the file, you can do anything you want, including deleting it, writing it, appending to it, etc. And then the other people in your group can just read and execute, so you prevent them from actually being able to erase your file. And finally, any other user on the system can read and execute. And it's a little permissive because that means that anybody on the system can read, obviously, if I wanted to say, well, I want to be a little bit more paranoid than that, okay? I want to still be able to do everything I want, okay but i do not want people that are not in the group to be even able to do anything at all so you can see here that 750 correspond to i can do everything people of my group i didn't change that people in my group can read and execute the file 
and people that are you know not in my group can do nothing at all but now maybe i want to uh i know that this is not an executable file so i'm not really interested in even doing you know as much so what i really want is that i want this i want to be able to read write I want people in my group to be able to read, maybe, I share the file with them, but I don't want them to delete it. And then I want overs to not be able to do anything. So how would that work? That would be a six, a four, and a zero. So another permission that is um, that is really common, uh, if, if this was a folder, the X would matter, because this is just a file, and it's not an executable file, then I don't need the, the X. So this would be more appropriate for my file in this example, since my file is just a, a plain text file, okay? So being able to go between uh, the symbolic notation that sets actually a value, the symbolic notation that adds or remove um, a, a given permission to one of the triplets, and then the octal notation is really important. So make sure that you practice uh, converting an octal uh, permission into a, its symbolic notation and vice versa and make sure that you practice using the ch mode tool with both different type of notation and uh, take a look at the main page of ch mode to be aware of actually its option you're going to see that there are not that many of them and they are very straightforward to understand but all of this is fair game for quiz and exams so make sure that you prepare yourself